Today we're going to be working on using an alpha channel to create a shadow. Now we did our poor, our puppet wrap and I want to look at the before and after before we go on. <coughs> <coughs> so here it is <coughs> before the puppet wrap and after, before, after. It's a very subtle where we're tilting back the neck. All right. So let's go back to using the alpha channel to create a shadow. The first thing we're going to do is go to select, save selection, but you can see that it's not activated. It's in light gray. <coughs> so let's go back and in the layers panel, so here we are in layers panel. Use command click on a Mac on the layer thumbnail icon of the model copy. So right here. And there it is. Now it's selection. Now I didn't want to click onto the thumbnail. I wanted to click onto the text. So model command, a uh, mod, excuse me, model copy. And then I go to select save selection and we're going to call that model outline and press OK. And you can see now when I did that in the channels, you can see the model outline down at the bottom. And then we're going to click create a new icon. We're going to make a new layer. So here we are using the plus sign and we're going to call that layer shadow. And then we're going to move that layer down underneath the model copy. And with the shadow layer selected, so it's selected, select and then select and mask. So select, select and mask. This will load the current selection in the select and mask space. So here we are, we're in the current select and mask space. And we're going to click the view menu and the view mode and the properties panel and choose black. So in view. We go black, not black and white, but black. And then for the global refinement, we're going to shift edge at plus 36. And we're also going to make sure the output setting is on select. And if all of that is good, we're going to press OK. And you can see now we have the marching ants around our selection. And then I go to the top. I'm going to go to edit, fill, and under content is going to be black. I'm going to press OK. And you can see now I have the shadow is right underneath. So there's the shadow. And they want us to change the opacity of that shadow to 30%. So I can use my slider bar or I can type it in. I'm just going to use a slider bar. And the shadow is exactly in the same position as the model. So it's not going to move. And then we're going to choose Edit Transform. So here we are. We have selected the shadow. Edit transform, rotate, and you can rotate the shadow by hand or enter it manually. I'm going to do it manually. So, because when I do the, the percentage, it didn't work out. So we're going to do it manually. So there's my shadow. And then if you like it, click on to the check mark to accept it. 
And then we're going to click on to the episode background. Oops, Command Z, Command Z. I'm going to deselect, Command D to deselect, and then turn on the episode background. So that looks pretty good. Go ahead and save your work. 